Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be doing a video request in Microsoft Word 2016. It comes in from Natasha. She says, hey Morgan, can you do me a favor and make another video about how to insert page numbers? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that request in Microsoft Word right now and let's go ahead and get started. So in Microsoft Word, I've seen some students, they try to put just the page numbers over here in this area, and then as you continue to write text, the page numbers rise or fall depending on how those go. So instead of just putting your page numbers in the regular text, you know, kind of going like this, and then right aligning them, I have seen that. That's no good because again, as you continue to type, it's just not going to work out, they're gonna move. So instead, you're going to put them into the header section. So the header section is right over here in the top area, okay? Now the page number can go in the header or the footer section, and that again is right up here for the header and right down here for the footer. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna go over how to put page numbers into the header section. So to get into the header or the footer, all you have to do is double click in the area where the header or footer is located, which is right up here in the top and bottom margins of your page. So go ahead and double click at the top of your page if you wanna put it in the header. And we see that we are now in the header section. We see that the header and footer tools design tab now appears and the rest of the text on our document is gray letting us know that we're working in the header section. So if I want to go to the footer, I just go to the header and footer to design tab, navigation group, and click go to footer, and that'll move me right down there. Alternatively, you could just click on the header or the footer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put custom page numbers on here. So let's say I'm writing this uh, as an essay in one of my classes and I want to put my name as well as the page number. Well, if I put my name down right here and I have my name down and then I press the space bar and then I go to the header and footer tools design tab, header and footer group and I click page number, I can click the page number uh, button right here. Now what you choose out of these four options here will decide where it is located on the page. So if I went top of page and chose plane number one, two, or three, that's going to put it on the left, center, or right aligned um, area on the page. So you can scroll through these and see if any of these work for you if you're interested in putting them at the top of the page. Alternatively, you could choose the bottom of the page, which is right here, and this would put it into the footer section, one, two, or three, and then you can choose any of these other options as well. As far as page margins go, you can put them along uh, the left, right, uh, vertical left or vertical right um, bars, okay, and th they will appear there, so if I just chose that, you can see the page number appears right down there. Uh, I do not want that in this case, so I'm gonna do a Control-Z to back that up. Finally, this last one down here is current position. Now this means wherever I'm currently at on my page. So in this case, I have my name written, a space, and then the page number right there. So let's say that I wanted to put the page number right where my cursor is at. I'm going to go to current position, and I'm gonna just choose plain number one. I click that, it'll put that number in right there. Now let's say I wanted to right align it now. Well, I could do control R, on my keyboard or go to the home tab paragraph group and right align and you will see that the header will move right over to the right side of the page that looks good as I scroll down I can see on page 2 it says Morgan 2 on page 3 it says Morgan 3 so that's looking pretty good but usually in MLA and APA format you don't want that first header to display the page number so maybe you don't want that on there if I didn't want that on there I could go up to the header and footer tools design tab go to options and choose different first page and if I click on that you'll see that it removes every uh, bit of formatting that I've chosen from the first page but it still ap appears down here on the second and on the third page. So you can go ahead and customize your page numbers as much as you want. And as you see, I will click close header and footer and they appear right there and they will print out in black 
when they are printed. So hopefully this tutorial has helped explain how page numbers work in Microsoft Word 2016. Remember you can put text or document info before or after the page numbers and they will continue to work all the way down your document. That way you are not constantly writing or handwriting in your page numbers. So hopefully this has helped you out. If it has, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Natasha, thank you so much for the video request. If anyone else has a video request, please put it in the comment section below and I will see about doing a video for you. Thank you so much.